And again, if you think about even those kinds of practices in their sense, kind of reinforcing this idea that somehow it's not okay to wander off because you're somehow losing something. You're losing contact with something. So you have to regain that by sort of re remembering, bringing yourself back, you know, stopping that tendency to drift away and wander off wherever one might wander off in the field of attention. So this, this little guided inquiry kind of um, turns that whole thing upside down and on its, on its head. It's called drifting towards reality. <clears throat> in both psychology and spirituality, the wandering of attention is frequently portrayed as a problem we must work very diligently to overcome. But as valid as that perspective might be in certain contexts, I invite you into another consideration. Drifting is what experience actually does owing to its inherently dynamic transitory nature. The experiential field, which of course includes our attention, is constantly changing, continuously moving from one state to the next, wandering, as it were, from one point of focus to the next. Experience doesn't actually hold still, it's a shapeshifter. Given this reality, could it be that the drifting of attention, the drifting of attentional focus is not the colossal problem it's been made out to be? I realize that what I'm saying flies in the face of conventional meditative wisdom. But as I said, the very drifting that meditators have struggled for millennia to overcome or keep in check is actually the very nature of things. Drifting away, quote unquote, is, we could say, reality's signature mode. And so in placing ourselves in opposition to this natural tendency, through any degree of mental effort, even if subtle, we may be only fighting a losing battle, but also reinforcing the notion that some portions of the field of experience are somehow preferable or more real than others. As you sit here, just allow your experience to do what it does. Notice the way in which attention naturally drifts from one point of focus to the next. Feel the way in which experience moves and wafts and undulates like the tides shifting from moment to moment. Now, as you notice this natural movement, if you suddenly find yourself having seemingly lost contact or being less present with this ceaseless drifting of experience, don't worry. That's just the next place that drifting has taken you. Reality is just doing what reality does, drifting. This is life's nature, to never hold still. Like clouds moving through the vast and spacious sky, we are forever drifting, one state wafting into the next. Some focus of attention appears, some experiential moment comes into view, and then we suddenly find ourselves somewhere else swept away yet again. But this drifting is not some spiritual mistake. It's simply what life does. And so there is no drifting away from reality, for there is only reality. Forever drifting into itself. I'm gonna read that again. There is no drifting away from reality for there is only reality forever drifting into itself. Enjoy the drifting for there is really nothing else to enjoy. It's amazing to think about just our life and or you could say a period where you're sitting and doing something called meditation in either case. They're just different versions of life, we could say. But in either case, what's happening is there's this sense of, as, as I was sharing in that reading, of, of moving in and out 
of different flavors of experience, different qualities of experience, different ways that you might be characterizing what's happening. A moment that feels like this, and then we drift into another perspective that seems like this, and then another sense of identity that looks like this. And it's just this constant, fluid, ever-changing, shape-shifting of the moment. It's just constantly, it's, it's just this constancy of, of drifting in to whatever appears. And then as we drift into what appears, it, that becomes something else immediately. Uh, that's, the, that's the crazy thing about the appearance of each instant is also its disappearance, becoming the next instant. And so that idea that we have that we're somehow, uh, we have moments where we may say or feel as if we're contacting something more fundamental or something truer, or something uh, more awakened, however we might be characterizing that. And then somehow we, we lose touch with that or we've seen, we believe that we've lost contact with it. And so we do something in order to retrieve that which we imagine we've lost. But all that's happened is we've just drifted into another moment. We've just drifted into another version of reality, another version of life, another um, appearance of reality. And this is all that's ever occurring is different appearances of reality, we could say, different ways this singular thing, let's call it life, let's call it existence, the presence of what is, is just appearing however it appears and that appearance of course is not static as i was saying is just constantly drifting so we're never the notion of somehow losing contact with the ground with reality is really not the case we're just entering into a new version of the ground a new version of reality in what we might be calling drifting away so there is no drifting away from anything. We're, that's why I say we're drifting into, or reality is drifting into itself in every moment. Existence is simply appearing in yet another version of itself in every instant. So we're never, we're always home. And yes, it always looks different. It always appears different. And yet it's always home, it's always reality. This image came to me uh, a couple days ago that I, I, I just loved. And it was this feeling of um, the metaphor was the field of our experience, the vast field of our experience, which really has no edges to it. You can just feel the sense of how edgeless it is, how boundless this moment of experiencing is. The, the, the image that came to me was, it's like a vast open sky, a blue sky. And as, as we have this sense of drifting from experience to experience, from perspective to perspective, or identity to identity, or this drifting, this movement, as I was saying, it, and, and, it, and something comes into focus, something comes into view, like a point of focus where suddenly something's being noticed, something is appearing, and maybe being described as it often is. And that's like a point. It's like a point in the sky that we've kind of seemingly arrived at momentarily, like, oh, here's this experience. And we're like arriving at this point in the sky. But every point that we arrive, seemingly arrive at, as we're moving around the field of experience, moving around the sky is every single point of the sky is the entire sky. So we're never leaving the sky. We're just experiencing what seems to be like a, 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 a particular kind of local, uh, localization or point of the sky. But there's just the sky. We're never leaving the sky, ever. And we can't really ever arrive at the sky at the same time because we've never left it. So there's no arriving. 